You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Welcome back. We're going to check in with meteorologist Patrick Wright again for another look at the forecast. So, Patrick, it kind of seems like the days ahead are not <laughs> really knowing. Like they're a little all over the place. Uh, what can you tell us about? what to expect. Yeah, it is that time of year where we do have some of the wild swings in our temperatures. We're feeling more like winter right now in the last couple of days, but we will feel more like late spring into early summer as we head into the middle of this work week. For now, we do still have some of, the, some of those clouds rolling through in parts of the valley. This is what it looks like from the Igami camera. Not too much going on, but again, you still have the clouds out there. It's still a little chilly out there, so you will want that jacket as you're heading out and about. We are facing the southwest with the coast mountains here and those clouds still in the distance. So we will have a few North Valley showers tonight as a very weak system passes through this evening and into tomorrow. But we have amazing eclipse weather ahead with clearing out and warming up for our conditions as we head into the work week. So this is what we can expect. A few showers will develop in the North Valley this evening. Now the debate is how far south will they stretch? Some of them are keeping things, some models are keeping things to the north, others are keeping things to the south. So if you are in the Redding area, just be on the lookout for some showers late tonight. But this is a very quick moving system and is not going to bring a lot of moisture. So we will see those clouds by tomorrow morning break up and for the most part clear out. Although we will still have some energy in the atmosphere as the system passes through. So we may see some afternoon showers and maybe a rumble of thunder or two most of it concentrated in the mountains. And as we head into Monday, things really start to clear out. Now temperatures tonight dipping down into the lower 40s, so you're not going to be able to open up those windows. You may need the extra blanket or two this evening. If you're in the mountains, we're seeing temperatures in the lower 20s, if not upper 20s and the lower 30s, depending on your elevation. Highs tomorrow warm up slightly compared to what they were at today, sitting in the mid 60s. Now this is still below average for this time of year, so it's not exactly feeling quite like spring just yet yet, though we will see that changing coming up. By Monday, a ridge of high pressure really takes hold of our weather, clearing us out and sending our temperatures back into the low to mid 70s, and that'll stick around as we head into the middle of this week, where we will see the chance for temperatures to reach the low to mid 80s in some cases for the valley, and that's when we really start to feel like spring here in Northern California. But that may not last forever, so we will be watching something for the end of the work week next week. There's still a lot of uncertainty in what happens with this system, so we will keep an eye on it as we get closer. The good news is the eclipse is looking amazing for our area. So zooming into Northern California, the sky will be clear all day on Monday. So if you are heading out to view the eclipse, by 1117, that is the peak of the eclipse. Only about 40% coverage, though things are looking quite nice. Now the path of totality is farther away, but we will still have a little bit of a show. Just be sure to get it in to view it because we won't have another one until 2045 where we will be in the path of totality here in Chico and Redding. But temperatures, as I mentioned, warm up into the low, even mid 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. A few clouds will be moving in. Again, a lot of uncertainty for the forecast in the latter half of the work week as that system does pass through, but we'll keep an eye on it as we get a little closer.